Hey guys, Kayla here from Journey Dog Training here to talk to you about what to do if your puppy is scared of having his harness put on. So this applies for puppies who are scared of their collar as well, um, but we're gonna mostly talk about harnesses today because that's a little bit more challenging for a lot of puppies. So this is my puppy Niffler. He's currently, I don't know, 18 weeks old, I think. Um, and he actually doesn't really like having his harness put on either. So um, this is gonna be a really good video for you guys as far as I'm actually dealing with this with him and um, it's gonna be a good training session for him. So the first rule, um, if your puppy is scared of having his harness put on, is don't chase him with it, don't force him to put it on. So that means that you're going to have to find an alternative in the meantime, and I know that sometimes you just need to get out the door. So that might mean, um, that's going to mean getting creative here. So what I actually suggest is if you can't get a harness on your puppy without your puppy um, running away from you or shying away, so you can actually just make a slip lead out of any normal leash. So this is a normal leash. It's got a clip on one end and a leash, a uh, hand loop on this end. You can just make a slip lead out of this by passing the clip through the handle. Now you have a slip lead. So now my puppy is scared of having the harness put on. I can simply drape that over his head and over his neck and I have him contained. The nice thing about this is A, you could make your slip lead hole as big or as small as you need to make it more comfortable for your puppy. Most of the time your puppy doesn't like it because it's so tiny over his head and a lot of harnesses are tight over your dog's head, which is scary for them. The other thing is this isn't a long-term solution. So if it does scare your puppy a little bit, it's less likely. Hey. The other thing is that because this isn't a long-term solution, if it scares your puppy, it's not as likely to be problematic in the long run because you don't want your puppy to necessarily wear a slip lead in the long run versus poisoning your harness by continually chasing your puppy and tackling your puppy with the harness um, is going to create long-term problems for you if you want your puppy to wear your harness in the future. So now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of um, making, getting your puppy ready with the harness. A couple things to keep in mind right before we start. Make sure that your harness fits your puppy appropriately and isn't scary in a, in a way that's particularly problematic for you. So I'm using a rough wear front range harness, which you guys will see here in a minute. Um, I actually don't really love this harness for puppies because it does kind of rely on such a tight fit over your puppy's head. A lot of puppies are going to be more comfortable with a step through Y front harness that um, you can clip around their neck and then clip around their back. Um, or something like that versus something that pulls over their heads. So just keep that in mind and make sure that your harness fits appropriately. If you can put it on really loose and then tighten it down, that can also help a lot as well. So what I like doing is kind of thinking through um, this through the lens of kind of a poke it game. So we might teach, you're gonna teach your puppy to put his nose up and touch something um, and willingly approach something that isn't the harness at first. I'll show you guys that. Um, and then we're going to start actually practicing with the harness and getting the point to the puppy where, you, where your puppy feels comfortable putting his head through the harness on his own. And all the while, in the meantime, I don't want you shoving the harness over your puppy's head. So that means that this might take a couple days or even a week or two. So in the meantime, you might have to use a different harness or a slip lead or something to help make sure that your puppy um, doesn't get spooked by the harness at any point during the training process. All right, so I have a clicker here. If you guys don't want to use a clicker or don't have one, um, just use a verbal marker. So say the word yes um, instead, but we're just gonna use a clicker. So as soon as he kind of approaches the harness, puts his nose anywhere near it, I'm gonna click. And I'm actually feeding him through the head loop of the harness intentionally to make sure that he's getting comfortable with the idea of approaching the harness and putting his head through it. So there we go. We actually just got him to put his head through the harness. I'm gonna keep feeding him. And then as I'm feeding him, go ahead and take it off. And that you can see there is kind of why I don't love the rough wear harness 
for puppies, it does, it does pull kind of hard on them at first. So I really didn't expect this to go this smoothly. As I said, he actually doesn't like having his harness put on at all. Um, this is our first time doing this training. Um, but you can see how easy this can be with a puppy if you don't let this become a really big problem. Um, I have not chased him with this. I haven't really been bothering him with the harness in the meantime. So if your puppy is more fearful or more sensitive, um, or you've been chasing your puppy down um, with the harness for a longer period of time, this might not go as smoothly for you. Good boy. So you guys can see how I'm strategically kind of using my hand placement to help lure him through. I'm what, But notice that I'm not doing this. I'm not kind of like teasing him, teasing him, teasing him, trying to get him through. I am actually feeding him as he goes through. Um, so he's just getting a lot more rewards per second than if I was trying to lure him through. I'm also making sure that if he just touches it, he gets a treat making sure that it's easy enough for him to feel nice and comfortable. And he's getting lots of treats for that uncomfortable sensation of having a harness put on over his head. And we're going to call it there. That was a really lovely training session. I'm really happy with how that went. Um, if you guys are having more trouble with this, so say that your puppy, as soon as you pulled out the harness, just runs away from you. Then I want you to practice this um, with something, just, you know, put the harness on your lap. And then feed your puppy. Then, hang, you know, hang out with your puppy a little bit. You can practice having them put their nose on this. You know, just hold this out, click and treat for them, putting their nose on it. You could do the same thing with a, with your leash, with a collar, um, all while keeping your harness nearby. And then eventually you can actually start putting it out and having your puppy interact with it. With really, really fearful puppies, you can even put the harness on the ground, put food in the head hoop, and then stop touching it and just leave it like that for a couple days to help your puppy get used to the idea of a harness producing food. So there are ways to make this easier. Um, if you need, that was um, a real life training situation with Niffler and I didn't expect it to go quite that well, but it did. So that's what you guys are going to get as far as a demo today. Hey, scooch butt. him back in his puppy palace so that I can go back to editing this video. So um, thanks for watching guys. I'm Kayla Fratt of Journey Dog Training. You guys can check us out here um, on YouTube obviously. We also blog at journeydogtraining.com. I host two podcasts, the Pandemic Puppy Podcast and the Canine Conversations Podcast. Um, and Niffler, Barley, and I are on Instagram at Collies Without Borders. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.